welcome back now uh, we will take another example say we need to find out the obtain the pulse transfer function now say uh, this is the expression r of sorry s r of s is applied to a transfer function g1 and it is directly applied to another transfer function g2 and it is c of s and in another representation this r of s is applied to g1 and after that sampling and then apply to g2 and then c of s now here it is given that g1 equal to 1 divided by s plus 1 and g2 is equal to 1 divided by s plus 2 say hmm? now you see this t here also t here also t here also t and t is given as 1 second for simplicity okay so from this there are two problems huh? this is problem number one this is problem number two so if i try to find the solution of this problem number one we have already derived this in the earlier lectures so what is c of z divided by r of z even though the i have not written the c star of s you just consider that if i again sampling it you will get the c star of s hmm. so means if you take take the start uh, function of this c after that you have to take the z transform then you will get the c star of s even though it is not given you can do this so, uh, for initially even though it, it is not given in the problem so make it a, initially make it a c star of s then take the z transform so c star of s z transform is c of z okay so i am directly writing c of z by r of z equal to equal to z transform of g1 of s into g2 of s in the earlier derivation we have written directly g1 z z2 z it, it is in the z domain but here g1 of s is given that s plus 1 and 1 divided by s plus 2 this is given so we have to find out the z transform so what we have to write z transform of 1 divided by s plus 1 into 1 divided by s plus 2 we can write it like z transform of 1 divided by s plus 1 minus 1 divided by s plus 2 so after that we can write if i take the z transform now then it will be z divided by z minus e to the power minus 1 minus 1 uh, sorry z divided by z minus e to the power minus 2 hmm. now uh, we have considered the uh, e to the power minus t t is 1 so here we have considered as t equal to 1 second hmm. and then we can write like z minus e to the power minus 1 multiplied by z minus e to the power minus 2 it will come z into uh, z minus e to the power minus 2 minus z into z minus e to the power minus 1 so if you calculate it it will come z e to the power minus 1 minus e to the power minus 2 divided by z minus e to the power minus 1 into z minus e to the power minus 2 so hence you have got the z transfer function of the first problem now let us take for the second problem for this problem 
C C of Z by R of Z for the equation of this problem number two. Uh, C of Z is R of Z equal to Z transform of G one of S into multiplied by G two of S. So uh, this is Z transform of one divided by S plus one. Which will be here also Z transform and Z transform of one divided by S plus two separately. Okay, so it 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 can be written easily Z divided by Z minus to the power minus T say multiplied by Z divided by Z in minus to the power minus two T. You can directly write it to the power minus one and it is one minus two, uh, or just show a step. So considering t equal to one, so it will come z square divided by z minus e to the power minus one into z minus e to the power minus two. Okay, considering h yes, t equal to one. Yes. So this is the. Set trans transfer function, pulse transfer function, you can say. Okay, thank you.